Working as intended. Amy, you do mean bad words. What are we doing today? Shit. We're doing shit? Alright. I think you guys were on, on adventures and I can't remember what I was doing. Oh, right. I was just. I had just finished hooking up power. Oh, yeah. I was dropping off my, my stuff. I had made James's truck, too. You did. With, like, a 4% APR. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bet you Jason got a boner when you said 4% APR. <laughs> so we're getting close to 21. Do you need us to build more spikes? Yeah, I think we gotta start turning them into uh, metal ones, too. So you're saying I should go and get some iron? Yeah. Alright, if I'm gonna get iron, I need lots of food, though, because iron, mining iron takes up a lot of uh, the food gauge. I guess I'll make some more. Alright, I was just starting to loot houses. Just saying, screw quests, don't need them anymore, they're not worth it. Right, I'm also concussed. <laughs> that sounds hot. I've got protection against scams. I've got a calm concussion. <laughs> right, cure my concussion. And now I guess I'll go and get iron. Yeah, do I have a spare nail gun anywhere? We don't have one yet. I'm still using a hammer. You should be using your uh hips for the pounding, sir. Like I'm like, I'm gonna go off on another adventure, and then I'm like, where's my truck? And I guess when I like just parked it here it rolled into the water. <laughs> Invoice sent. We're gonna need more animal fat. Oh, there's a bunch in. Uh, I'll put it in the proper bin here. Okay, it's in the food bin. Cool. Now I need to make more potatoes. You'll have to expand your farm. I gotta find more potato seeds. I mean, you can craft potato seeds from potatoes. Oh. I'll just sit here and deal with the irony of the situation. Where did Amy log out at? We should build some spikes there. No, I'm good. <laughs> just put an electric fence through her. Get this seat. Crafting some forged iron so I can upgrade spikes. These iron spikes look a lot better now. Can't wait to fall down holes I'm making here and break my leg. Stay off to do one of the tier fives. I was uh, clearing out a skyscraper, yeah, last time. Mustard tower? I think so, yeah, number one. Standing on the balcony, shooting arrows at zombies down below. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you boys like pumpkin cheesecake. Yes. Cheesecake's delicious. Yeah, I got ten pumpkin cheesecakes for you boys. What's up? Alright, so I got, uh, well, I can't count. I got a lot of meat stew cooking right now as well, so make sure to periodically check there. Okay. I'm gonna go find some food. I'm gonna keep on busting through this iron. Yeah, fuck my bike. Swear jar. I don't give a fuck. Oh. Two swear Damn. jar. It's like Mike James using the bad language words. Yeah. Fuck yeah! That's three. <sighs> toilet pistols. Best place to hide them, right? Yeah. I think uh, toilet pistols are always quality one. Yeah. <laughs> you can also find toilet hunting knives, right? Yeah, also always quality one. Oh. Cardboard boxes of electronics give mechanical and electrical parts. Electrical parts. Let's see what the learning box has got for me. Learning? Yeah. Anything neat that you learned? Oh, the fuel saver mod's sitting here. We need to make those for each of our vehicles. Yes. Uh, Jay, you got a vehicle, right? Yep. Do you have a fuel saver mod on it? Nope. I do not. Do you have any mods on yours, James or Jason? I, I don't nope. think I do. Oh, I've got a fuel saver on mine. So I will make three fuel saver mods. Which require... 
acid, polymers, mechanical parts, and forged steel. How are you miss breaking iron in one hit? <laughs> Remember when iron used to have a thousand durability? Yeah. I filled up all the empty jars with uh, murky water. I'll keep them like that. Uh, I'll go get the airdrop. The other mod I need is the supercharger. Turn the mini bike into almost a real bike. Here's so many zombies breaking down the, the, the skyscraper. <laughs> oh jeez. Like I wonder if they're above me or below me. I, I think they're below. I'm gonna bring the whole tower down. Yeah, that'll be it as you're doing the quest. Just all of a sudden everything starts falling. <laughs> I'm doing the pre-clear right now, so... Well, at least it'll repair it then. Yeah. Left Mike just goes over with the auger and just starts taking out the like the foundation of the building. <laughs> it I was the auger yet. It was the zombies, really. <laughs> that is something I do, yeah. <laughs> this supply crate had ten timed charges in it, which I don't think they. I still don't think they work properly. I mean, I thought they did because I was using them to uh, break open early game stuff back in like Alpha nineteen. to try it again then. Regular stick dynamite always seemed to work the best. A zombie approaching the mine. Stupid zombie. Just walks into the mine. Gets baseballed. So are you respecting content in uh, Mustard Tower or are you just going where you want? Uh, respecting content. Hmm. Looting everything, I'm surprised I don't need to... Needed to make a trip back out. Yeah, I think uh, double looting Mustard Tower took me like four or five hours. Oh. I'm up in the construction part of it. Which one? I think there's two or three of them. Um, must be the first one. Right? First one. No concrete. Is there a quick way down at the end? Yes. Yeah, with parkour. Well, I guess I've seen the stairs, <laughs> so it must be the stairs. Yes, there's stairs. Luckily, there's another 10,000 grates in the way of the stairs. Well, like, well, there's none, so you don't have to break through them. You can just take the stairs, there's just some doorways in the way. So much iron. Feel saver mods are in the top mod box. I come get it, but I'm stuck inside this mine forever. It's cheap oriental labor at its best. Mike's like, why don't you build me a fucking railroad? Yeah. I'm gonna sell anything that's grade 3 or less. So Mike, were you talking about selling stuff? Or were you talking about where you think our education system currently is at? I don't think our education system is even that high enough. For that. Hi, Screamer. There's just... Bicycles everywhere over here. I can't remember if I got rid of my bicycle or not. There's four here. I did not. I can still see the symbol. I'm gonna spend my entire day underground. And then this will take like another ten days for all this uh, iron to melt. Yeah. I should build another forge. Can you afford to do that? I don't know. And forges are easy to build. But then we need more bellows and more anvils. Do we even have an anvil? Uh, we have an anvil and a crucible, but we don't have bellows. I can actually craft them if need be. And from iron into a nitrate vein. Surprise, Screamer! Mining is so time-consuming. At least mining is better than yoring. Mine? <laughs> Yours? You're like the uh, Spy Family character? It's such a good show. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Spy Family, the... The Forgers... Folgers. I'm uh, going through all the coffee <laughs> while mining. Yep. And continue to, to build... The force down. Continue to build support for my mine. Unless you want a gigantic crater over here. Won't bother me, none. 
I plan on building a gyrocaptor copter copter when I can. A gyrocaptor? That's not disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> just a just a flying maneuver spreader. That's all that would be. You could use one on your farm. Yeah, you I really could. <laughs> I think all farmers would be like, that's freaking amazing. Until you get underneath one. That'll be a crappy situation. Yeah. <laughs> you dung goofed. <laughs> I experimented on single player. If I just do pillars every three, I guess three space in between, to up to dirt, it'll still collapse after a while. Oh, jeez. So now I go three in between and then a uh, wood roof. It's like dirt isn't very supportive. So we have electric fences and two rows of spikes, right? Yes, so far. And before when we're shooting, we're going to end up shooting the uh, fence and shutting it down. Dang, that was a lot of dogs. Let the dogs do it. <laughs> so here's one, two, three, four, five, six. It was a wandering horde. Got a dog horde over at you there, James. Yeah. So now you need to heal yourself up. Got about uh, 68,000 iron so far. Nice. So that'll help a bit. You'll have to make your farm bigger yet, there, James. <laughs> yeah, I will. We're in desperate need of even more food. Seven days to die. Apparently, you're starving every five seconds, so. The return of Bitter Mike. That's not how calories work! I was going to say, did he ever leave? <laughs> yeah, it's closer. <laughs> if you guys are ever bored and you want to do some zombie farming, you can come over here, wait for a screamer to spawn, and just let it keep screaming and killing the zombies. So now you guys are strong enough where you're not scared of nighttime zombies anymore. Yeah. I haven't been scared of him for a while, though. Remember, remember when we first played this game, how annoying nighttime zombies were? It's because we were yes. just terrible at this game. I remember well, hiding on top of a beast that we took our building, waiting there all night. Yep. And the word you were meaning was terrible -er at the game. Yes, that's the word. Now, if we're talking about games that were terrible, it's got to definitely be our Alcraft. Yep. So when are we doing RL Craft Hardcore mode? We're not already. I mean, no, there's actual Hardcore mode where, like, all the enemies deal, like, more damage. The enemies level faster. Uh, everything, like, the dragons, stuff like that, have longer view sight. And if you die, it deletes your world. I mean, I would I would go for that because we had finished faster. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, look, we're done. Like, start the game. Hey, look, there's a... Okay, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, inner row of spikes is now completely iron spikes. I also want a row of barbed wire yet. I think we got some barbed wire. Yes. Remember that mod was just like, is that barbed wire? Just pick it up. That was a good mod. Mod. There's also a mod we got where you could, like, disassemble stuff. I thought it was okay, but it got in the way of, like, when you're trying to mod stuff. Because of the extra recipe command. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. What's up? I can string the, uh... Electric fences through the barbed wire. So the barbed wire and the electric fence are in the same plane. Yeah, the barbed wire actually is, like, regular, like, wire. So, like, it can go through objects and stuff. Or sorry, you said electric fence? Yeah. Yeah, the electric fence wire uh, has no collision. Right. So, like, what some people do is they put, like, barbed wire on, like, the side that they shoot from, and then they just, like, have an indentation. I've got, uh, I'm putting the barbed wire over top of the electric fence. That way, if you run where the posts are, you won't run through the barbed wire. Nighttime! Remember we also had that mod, the best, uh, what is it, the best tool in the game is the stone axe? Yeah. <laughs> that was stupid. Because we hit so fast. 
the stone axe hits super hard and kills everything in one hit. So like you're mining iron is like hit hit it it's like hit 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 and it's like oh look there's like an extra thousand iron instead of this three hits with a steel pickaxe. So since we we're playing the base game, I think max level is three hundred. It still pretty well lets you take everything, doesn't it? Yes. I think you need like two eighty something to get everything. But on default game, it also takes forever to level. It's not too bad because I'm uh, building the base, but yeah. Let's see, what am I at right now? 45. We're all roughly in the 40 range. Or 45 to 50 range. But levels will even slow down even more, so I mean... So can you want to reach level 300? It's like make it to like day 200. Yeah. We'll get 70 or 80,000 iron in the one day. You're still in your initial clear of Dishong Tower there, Jay. Yeah, I left the, the tower for a little bit just to put some chests outside, and it seemed to reset everything. Yeah, it seemed to come inside. <laughs> so I'm up in the second construction area now. There's a lot of zombies in there. There is. If I recall correctly, the last fight on that place takes place on the roof. And you drop down into loot room. The last fight is annoying, though. There's, like, a whole bunch of vultures, feral radiateds. And when you pull one, it pulls about half the group. I think it's, I think that final fight is split into two or three groups. If you're really noisy like me, though, you just pull the entire thing. And now it's part of the support group. Oh, God, drink some more coffee. At least my water's not going down. And then now I have to build the support pillars. Oh. What's Al for? What did you do? Such a spike? I'm getting a shock, but I'm not near the... Wasn't it not much of an aloe? Because don't they not hurt you? Yeah, it doesn't hurt, but uh, I don't know why I'm getting shocked. I'm, I'm not near the electric fence. Don't whiz on the electric fence. Anybody know what that reference is to? It's one of those safety videos, isn't it? No, it's Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, that's a good idea, right? Not pissing on an electric fence. It's genius not to do it. Alright, my well, my mine is well supported. Mine out more iron! So because I went mining, I didn't go to get to say get effed to uh, any zombies. Heck, with his record for this episode, James could do it for me. <laughs> Wait, what? I was just talking about my swear quota. Oh yeah, I'm making up for it. It's like you don't want Amy mad at you. <laughs> you know what's great? You know how Mike doesn't swear a lot, right? He tries to avoid swearing. But man, when we play Minecraft, he swears a lot. It's hilarious. Yeah. I I always I always tell him like I'm telling Amy. <laughs> it's like Mike's using bad language words. Amy, he's using bad words. Oh, Mike just gets frustrated because in, we were playing RL Craft and it's just like, oh, he, you know, he, like something will just pop up and I'll just one shot him. Yeah. Oh, I see. Maybe trying to do something important and then, like, Skeleton's like, boop, right in the head, insta kills him. I think it's stupid because it's like, oh, look, you better, uh, you know, upgrade all your defense and stuff so you can wear this armor and the armor does, like, nothing. But yeah, Mike saying F words is like, haha, we the game got Mike to swear. <laughs> Gains a butt. Then again, if we made Amy play it, she'd probably just uninstall it right away. It's like Minecraft is no longer fun. <laughs> That's why it plays the nice music. We're on day twenty. In the corner of an office, there's a red ammo box up at the very top. It's like, oh. Yes. <laughs> That's interesting. I remember going through on single player and it's like, it was during my second clear, I'm like, I missed that on my first clear. Alright, so I should be able to get close to 100,000 iron in this first run through. So I'm not sure if you want me to just keep sticking at getting iron, or if I should go on adventures the next day. Mm, should be fine. There was quite a bit here that I'm also using. I didn't get anything else like lead or anything, I just went straight for iron. Because I figure that's the important thing we need right now. Also, with that dog horde, I'm amazed uh, James didn't get eaten. Nah, no, I did the eating. 
I mean, they drop rotten flesh, so. Hey, man, rotten, military, it's the same. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> you just let you make military ration this game out of rotten meat. <laughs> yeah. You should make crayons, too, if your character to if your character's a marine. It's daytime! We did it, we survived. I mean, I literally didn't do anything risky. I killed a zombie while I was working on the base. I killed a couple of screamers. I found a potato farm. Ooh. And yeah, I just got shy of 100,000 iron. Meanwhile, I'm over Ooh. here pretty much doing Die Hard up the tower. Yes. <laughs> you gonna give us a yippee ki -yay then for the end? <laughs> Let's hear it. yippee ki -yay, motherfuckers. <laughs> I, mean, I, I want to let. I, thanks for watching. That gets a pass for swear jar. That's fine. Yeah, that gets a pass. <laughs> hey, folks! I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, share, and comment. You can click on the left button to subscribe and the right one to watch more Seven Days to Die Alpha Twenty. Thanks for watching.